Today is Thursday, February 14th, 2019. I'm Nicole Dubinsky. And I'm Shivam Jain. Now for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The coordinators of FSA's International Night are looking for volunteers for the event. You can host a booth representing a country, do an active performance, or just lend a hand wherever you can. This event is set for April 28th right here at FSA. Please consider lending a hand as there are many ways you can help. Time is running out to get your order in for the super cool shirts and socks MD Junior is selling in support of the American Heart Association. Ms. Oliver is tracking the orders and collecting payment. Remember the shirts are $10 and cute cozy socks with hearts on them are available for $4. Final orders and payments are due February 22nd to Miss Oliver. The year was 1866. She enlisted as William Cathay in the 38th U.S. Infantry, Company A in St. Louis, Missouri. Cathay Williams was the first and only known female Buffalo soldier during the Civil War. At that time, only a cursory medical examination was required and she was quickly found to be fit for duty. Cathay Williams, a former slave, joined the Army. At that time, women were not allowed to so serve as soldiers. So Williams posed as a man, calling herself William Cathay. As we continue our observance of Black History Month and sharing fun facts about this momentous month, we take a look at a couple of outstanding women. Dr. Alexa Irene Kennedy Davis was the first African American woman in the United States to become a neurosurgeon. Kennedy Davis received her bachelor's degree from the University of Michigan in 1971 and her MD degree from the College mm -hmm. of Medicine at the University of Michigan in 1975. Between 1975 and 1976, Kennedy Davis completed her internship at Yale New Haven Hospital, moving on to train as a resident in neurosurgery at the University of Minnesota between 1976 and 1981. FSA's Athletics is hosting a Picture Day for student athletes. March 8th is the date, so musting athletes mark your calendars. Pictures will be taken during school hours in the gym, and it will be for all sports teams that participated in 2018 through 2019 academic year. This is yet another milestone in the growth of the athletics program here at FSA. For the 2018-19 school year, we saw the emergence of the following sports represented at FSA at both the JV and varsity levels. Volleyball, basketball, cross country, tennis, golf, track, and soccer. Just in case you forgot to place that order for Mustang gear, the Sideline Store has extended the 20% off $75 offer until February 18th. There are numerous options in design and style. The user can select the item, color, logo, and team, whether it be academic or athletic. Not to mention, customers have the option of customizing your Mustang catchphrase of choice. There is everything from cotton shirts to dry fit Nike or UA workout shirts and so much more. The Sideline Store offers great options for school-approved spirit wear clothing to be worn on Fridays. And also at the athletic outerwear that sports FSA's Mustang logo. Well, Raghav has been out sick this week, and we do wish him a speedy recovery. But in the meantime, it looks like there's a good chance that temperatures will climb to the 60s today with lows in the 40s. Thanks for joining us, and hope you have a great Valentine's Day. And a long weekend off from school, we will see you again next Tuesday. I'm Nicole Dubinsky. And I'm Shivam Jain for Mustang News. And remember, Mustangs, we are hashtag stronger together. together.